Hello everyone, it's Takis Buddy 2 here, and for today, so we we were going to sub something regarding about Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2. The game is officially coming out next month on Steam, and I'm assuming also on other consoles like the Switch, PlayStation 4, and 5, and all. But the problem is right now is what I have currently when it comes to its content and the roster itself. So I mean, as of right now, they did just reveal its final character, but even before the final character was revealed, it seems that the roster itself was apparently leaked because right here this came from a youtuber that was streaming the game and you may have noticed that this right here is the official roster for the Galoon all-star brawl 2 and you know why i find this so strange enough as it is because the roster itself feels like it's not as big as it used to be. Now, because if you compare it for the first game, where it had a really small roster and underrepresented franchises like Danny Phantom, for example, you and the characters, half of them have been cut from the next game, would, would be in this one. And the characters that were cut were specifically Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob, Toph from Avatar The Last Airbender, Leonardo and Michelangelo, and even the Shredder, surpri surprisingly enough, Lincoln Loud from Loud House, funny enough, along with Power Toast Man, Oblina, Helga, which we saw from that Nigel Thornberry video where it was she was the confirmed to be a stage background, uh, Cat Dog, along with Hugh Neutron. These are the characters that were cut, and even though it was half of the characters, the, se the sequel's roster still feels small enough as it is, despite some really good new additions and what i find so strange are some of the cuts i get cutting some characters like i don't know i like there's i don't know cat dog or whatever maybe oblina but why exactly cut out leonardo and michelangelo the shredder if not anything i still find it a strange choice for this game to only have two ninja turtles and not include all four of them because i don't remember if there's any ninja turtles games that includes all four of these characters all four of the turtles at all and that's even weirder to remove Lincoln Loud, the main character, the Loud House, but just keep his sister Lucy of all things? Like, why are you gonna keep the goth character in this one, but not the main character? Which Arnold, I sort of understand since I remember he's a pacifist in the show, but even if then, I still find this roster really small as it is. And the thing about it, though, is that they actually did reveal their final character being Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender. And if you're wondering where exactly Vlad is, despite him being the main character, despite him being, you know, the front of the cover, that's the bit, that's the most problematic one because apparently he is a boss character. Why exactly would you lock him behind a boss character? And I swear, if he's going to be released as free DLC, then we're going to have main issues. And that actually goes the same with the Shredder, because I have a friend on Discord who apparently told me that the Shredder was cut because he was a boss character. Meaning that there are certain characters in this game that may be in there, but not as playable fighters. And what's even more baffling about this is that apparently Nickelodeon and Viacom, who, you know, the shareholders for a lot of these shows and all did not learn their lesson because they apparently rushed Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 once again like it like they did with the first one. You might remember from the fact that the first game only had a very small roster along with very minimal content with no voice acting in any items. Well, that's because the game developers were rushed by Nickelodeon and Viacom. That is pretty much the same here. And what's even stranger about the character roster is that in the same video, you may have noticed that characters like Hugh Neutron is shown from the exit game along with Splinter from Nin from Ninja Turtles. Not sure what the campaign character is. But yeah, it makes me think, did Viacom actually rush Game Mill Entertainment, the developers that were making this fighting game? If that's the case, then yeah, they did not learn their lesson. And I'm starting to kind of doubt myself on thinking, okay, maybe I shouldn't buy this game unless they update. Because I know there's DLC characters all coming along the way. But even if that's the case, I think it's best for me to... I guess wait until the game fully comes out and then just see if there's any more updates and DLC stuff in the future. And if they ever make a third game, I really hope Viacom and Nickelodeon just doesn't rush them. Because given the fact that this is a sequel and the fact that this is the second time this has been rushed for a fighting game that had so much potential but went into the gutter. Yeah, I think it's best for me to say that I feel that if the third game is happening, I just hope for them to not get rushed. But let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about this. What do y'all think of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2's issue when it comes to its content and current character roster? Do you think this is smaller as the original? Because while there are some good character choices, 
cut in half of them just feels so weird, especially the Ninja Turtles specifically. But I want to know your thoughts and opinions down below about this. And so with that, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, follow my Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember this, once a legend, always a legend.